Hey, have you ever seen these funky pots that have these fins at the bottom? What is that? What's that about? Well, today we're going to talk about it. They're called heat exchangers, and it's meant to increase the heat efficiency of the pot. So these are talked about as saving anywhere from 25 to up to 40% in one boil time and two in fuel usage. Let's take a look. Well, hey everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, my name is Andy and today, like I said, we're talking about heat exchanger pots versus non-heat exchanger pots and what's the difference. So I went out and, and picked up two. These are um, Ollie Camp uh, is the brand and why I picked these up is it's the exact same pot except one has a heat exchanger on the bottom and one doesn't. So I can actually run some boil tests to see do the claims actually hold up? Does this thing get better fuel efficiency and quicker boil times than a standard pot? Let's go take a look. Okay, so what I did was I took a pot, each of them, and I added two cups of water. And I even measured them on the scale to zero out the pot and had 477 and a half grams um, of water in each cup. So as exact as I could get them on both sides. Just did them at room temperature at the same time. So, you know, roughly that's that's even. They're both aluminum pots. Um, so, you know, the only difference in, in, the, in the two is the heat exchanger on the bottom, should be. So then I measured um, the stove on top of the fuel canister, uh, got the total weight and uh, started the first one on the clock. And then I measured it after it had cooled down, I turned it off, cooled it down to see the weight difference, how much fuel did I actually burn in each boil, and then I boiled the second one. And let's take a look at the results. minutes and 10 seconds. Well, what do you know? It, it They actually worked. The heat exchanger pot beat the non-heat exchanger pot by about 30% in both fuel usage and boil times. So, you know, those jet boils that you see out there, there's a reason they have the heat exchanger at the bottom. It just makes them more fuel efficient. Now, one thing that I did notice is the, the fuel efficiency you know, increases with the more water um, and the larger pot uh, that you're needing to boil. So uh, I think these pots might not, you know, grant you a whole lot of efficiency um, savings if you're, you know, using a one cup pot, which is why you don't really see them on the smaller ones. But as you get into the one liter pot, the two liter pots and above, you start to see more and more with heat exchangers. And I think you get much greater savings with that larger pot. So if you're going for maybe a larger group um, where maybe you're heating water for two, three, four plus people, looking at pots that have the heat exchanger make a lot of sense. So, hey, I learned something new today. Hope you did too. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, be well.